redox potential. So what exactly is the meaning of the redox potential? It actually explains about the ability of the reactant to accept or gain electrons. In the name itself you can see the red means reduction, ox means oxidation, coupled together called as redox and the potential which has been created between these two compounds is called as redox potential which means a reactant the same reactant which can undergo reduction as well as oxidation and the same reactant can exist in both the forms that is the reduced form as well as in the oxidized form. So here the reduced as well as the oxidized forms of the reactant constitute a redox couple. We can see the best example here because we are discussing the electron transport chain in the same chapter. So you can understand better by taking the example of NAD+. So NAD plus is in the oxidized form and by accepting electrons the same NAD plus forms NADH it is called as reduced form which means the same reactant which is NAD can exist in oxidized form as well as in the reduced form. So the NAD plus as well as NADH constitute a couple this is called as the redox couple. And every redox couple has a redox potential which is a measure of the affinity of the reactant for electrons. It may not be the same for every reactant. It may differ from substance to substance. A redox couple having a high redox potential has a very high affinity for the electrons which means that particular reactant can readily accept electron from a redox couple having lower redox potential. And the electrons are transferred always in an ascending order of redox potential which means from negative to the positive. So the redox pair with high redox potential receive electron from a redox pair with a low redox potential what we can see in this equation. So if you take the redox potential of hydrogen where it is taken as a reference standard and by convention it is considered as zero. So compounds which means redox couples with a negative redox potential which means low redox potential have a low affinity for electrons and therefore they are called as better electron donors than hydrogen and those with a positive redox potential are considered to be poor donors of electrons when compared to the hydrogen. This is how we will compare these reactants. Thus the relative tendency of the reductants to donate electrons as compared to hydrogen is termed as redox potential. So if you take a strong reducing agent such as NADH which has a negative redox potential whereas a strong oxidizing agent such as oxygen has a positive redox potential. That is the reason in the electron transport chain electrons are transferred from NADH to coenzyme Q to cytochrome C finally to reach oxygen. So oxygen is considered to be the final electron acceptor of the electron transport chain and it has more positive potential when compared to that of the NADH. That explains that the NADH easily donate its electrons to a substrate reducing the substrate and itself gets oxidized to NAD+. So this is how electrons are transferred from more negative redox potential to the positive ones. This is called as the redox potential and the redox couple. 